I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna be a good video. It's got Carmen and Kayla Nicole. What? That's insane. This is gonna be a good video. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. And let me know in the comment section down below any other videos y'all need me to watch, alright? I like it into it. We ain't gonna waste no time. We watching Carmen. All about Carmen. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my um my homies out there. My homies out there, man. Shout out to my homies out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where the food go? I wish oh, I was like this, but yeah, baby, this girl can eat everything that she really wants to, and like you know, it's so good to know. Good. It just come right back out, huh? I already know it. Yeah, so we, okay, I haven't even done my intro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I have a special guest with me. We have the only one, Kayla Nicole. Yes. Make some noise, y'all. Make some noise. Hold up. Shouts out to you, though, for sure. For, for, for real. But yeah, we was downstairs before we came up here and we realized this is our first time meeting each other. And it don't even feel like the first time. Right? You know what? That's what I that's how you know like when relationship or just feelings really be genuine. Because it's like it don't be no awkward shit like girl, like what we doing? Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like <laughs> just awkward. You know, and I feel like I never link with somebody that I feel like it's gonna be like an awkward vibe. It was gonna be like, girl, you really don't mess with me, you really don't fuck with me like that, or you know, but yeah, so twenty twenty four, yeah, we finally so. But we've been knowing each other so so long I always like talk on Instagram or whatever and text and things. And then remember when I had came out to Houston that time and I was supposed to link to you drunk. All right, Kayla. Oh, 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 He's so funny. Why she so funny? <laughs> that motherfucker was hot, ain't it? <laughs> Alright. Hey. Hey. Please stop. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. But y'all, first, let's just align it. She like she was one of them bad little kids, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I wonder if her mom used to whoop her ass. The camera looking good, y'all. Yeah. Thank you, you too, girl. Good ass, healthy. Y'all got to see it. Thank you. Uh, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask Kayla some questions. I asked y'all on Instagram to give me some questions. Oh, girl, me too. Hmm. I know I be in a high seat, but it's like, damn, I'm putting myself in a hot, hot seat. Yeah. With answering. Because it's like, I ain't going to lie. It's because it's been so long. Like, it'd be awkward for me to be in front of the camera. But... I would have been to say that. Like, that's the reason why I wanted to do a video with her. Because, damn, she. What well, camera? That's what you always gotta ask yourself, what camera? Cause remember God watching you, so fuck the camera. <laughs> that's the least you wanna worry about. <laughs> you heard what I said, God is watching you. Fuck the camera, that's the least you wanna worry about. I don't get, I don't care who else watching, it don't matter about that, God watching. You start thinking about that, you blow up now. <laughs> it's not no YouTube like, ah. no more, you left us. Yeah, it's like you don't, like I really don't be seeing you like, it's been like two years. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy though. I, I, didn't even realize. Do you feel like your life just did like a 360? Hell yeah. Yeah. Because girl, I used to remember just see you, like, just seeing. I used to just like see you, see, and then next thing it's like, you just did the same thing. Yeah, I deleted my Instagram before. I, I just disappeared. I did a lot of that. But you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. You gotta trust away. Gosh. Yeah, girl, because, yeah, we're just saying, like, like, no, because a lot of stuff just take like a, a mental toll, you know? Like, you just gotta. Mm -hmm. <sighs> And if you gotta start over, it's start over. It's totally fine. Yeah. Trust me, I'm telling you. <laughs> when you gotta take that walk with God, you gotta go. When you yeah. gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> so you sacrifice a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what? Shits, bad habits, all kind of stuff. I do that every day. Things that you may not even want to deal with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta do that every day. I ain't gonna cap. Otherwise, I'll explode. <laughs> See, I'm telling y'all, she just don't be with us no more, y'all. So her being the camera, it feels like, mm, like if you get interviewed, yeah. 
Because, <laughs> like, I still act the same way in real life, but that's just with my people and stuff yeah. like that. So it's crazy to, like, just, I hate you too. I don't know. Like, it feels so weird. Mm-hmm. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I'm like, no. no. I'm so happy I, that she was able to come. It was a lot of things. Uh-huh. We got fame young, money young. Like, so it young. Was a lot, you know, that played into just our reality. So it's like, we're not the, the people that made us famous, we're not those kind of women now. No. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? We, we all have to, even the boys, you know, mm-hmm. the boys they used to be when they got famous, they're not that kind of man today. Like, yeah. a lot of us have just so many different things come into place. So, yeah. You know, yeah. getting to know people for who they really are and not what y'all want them to be or who y'all think they may be. Mm-hmm. You know, that's important. You know, so, yes, I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> Let people tell their story instead of you telling us. Yes, and I always know it's really three sides to every story. It's yeah. his, hers, and the truth. Yeah. Like, don't just run with just one side because you have to swerve it out. You have to just know from A to C. Mm-hmm. And the whole time missing B and C. <laughs> I did not miss them. They, like, And if I was you, like, to the people who still make content, like, I really wouldn't even address you know, the room, like anything that you ever have going on. Controversy, just really lay that shit to rest. Yeah. It's really yeah. no sense in doing none of this. Like at all. Yeah, because you don't, you don't have the answer to people. You don't have to about you. You know what I'm saying? You got to answer to God. That's the only, my validation don't come from the internet. You know what I'm saying? That's why motherfuckers don't be able to just break me and they be having to figure me out because it's like, yeah, I don't, it's not from y'all. I'm not doing this for y'all. I really don't put y'all at this level in my life. You know what I'm saying? If anything is here. Yeah. But by the grace of God, I only have my audience because of him. So I appreciate them. You know what I'm saying? Not to just act like they don't matter. But when it comes to just GP, general public, y'all not going to push my buttons. It's a yeah. thousand of y'all. It's one of me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't going to just verbally jump me. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you can fight all of them. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, and you can't really change people's mind. Like, you have to kind of just accept the fact that people have a right to be ignorant right. you know what I'm saying because they don't know right, they just right. don't know and when people don't know they just do what they do you know what I'm saying so it leaves yeah, the door too. open for people to act how they act and you can only handle you though you know what I'm saying so just mm-hmm. release and control it uh I was gonna say um uh, you can shut them down for sure I tell you that alright you know <laughs> you can command them to do whatever you want only because I was like, you know, I performed as an artist. So like, you're on stage and you like, everybody stand up, everybody standing up, everybody sit down, everybody sitting down, everybody be quiet, everybody being quiet. You literally take command. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of people on this planet can do that. That's like a, it's like a God giving gift for people to follow you because of your influence. So you have more control than you think. You have a lot more control than you think. But if you doubt yourself and say that you don't have no control, you're gonna control yourself, then at that point, then that's that's what it is. Once you become a, like a leader, then you understand that you do have control and you understand how to control it with God, right? And lead the people the correct way. So it's about how you use that control. Cause I used to think that way too. Like I, I don't got no control. I can't change this person's mind about this. Oh, I definitely can. I can definitely convince just about everybody to do whatever I want them to do. Right? Anybody can. It's communication. Right? <laughs> communication is key. Literally. Like I said, it, it just depends on how you provide the message. Really that simple. You know, controlling what you can, but I can't. You know, it's like it's me matrix. if I clear up something, that would be like me just, oh, I'm begging y'all, please believe me. I'm mm-hmm. just, this is the truth. Like, no, like that's so weird. Like, it works, you know, explain that I get to see it in a different it way. Works, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. and then you, you realize people don't really care about the truth. They just really be wanting to really get at the drama. Mm-hmm. They're they're really really drama. Feeling, so you can't really let people do that. Yeah, definitely right on that. But yeah, all right, we're gonna start off with the first question, and they said, where you been at <laughs> where um just in real life i mean here i travel from time to time but i just been i've been chilling i'm at home you really don't be home mm-hmm. just yeah. chilling yeah she just off the radio yeah literally <laughs> how is she doing mentally one to ten one to, okay so currently one through ten i'm gonna be real seven okay. i'll say seven yeah yeah y'all ready to go yeah. 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 but yeah 
I'm saying seven right now. I can just say it. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm right with you. Yeah. yeah. I'm right with you. Seat seven. Seat seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Okay, this one. Relationship status. Single. Celibate and single. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it from the one that I needed to hear it from. That's good. Yeah, okay. And I got something to say about that. I've seen a TikTok, like I know a lot of us struggling with just lust and just temptation. Like uh, a lot of girls are uh, taking their celibate journey. And like sometimes you know how you'll go without the sex for, you know, however long and then the nigga pop up, you try to fill it out, give it a chance, boom, it wasn't worth it. So then you get upset that, you know, I done sat down all this time, then boom, I fill this nigga out, give him my body and it's like, damn, it wasn't even worth breaking the you, you know what I'm saying? Then I was like, you know what? And Instead of just being celibate yeah, until cool. the next nigga just pop up, you know what I'm saying? No matter if he good, he gotta be a man of God. Right. And it's the difference between all that. A lot of these guys like to play nice, but they you really gotta use like your discernment. Not, so it's like being celibate with a purpose, not just being celibate to just, oh, I haven't had sex. Like, really be celibate because you want to be um, you a, a woman, for real. A woman with a ring on your finger. Mm-hmm. A woman you with a body. Like, yeah. So, so nobody oh. can just come and break oh. those walls down. Like, mm-hmm. you don't really amount to this much of me so I'm not even finna give you that little bit you know what I mean and the way that sex just affect us it's just very important to just not easily give in to just these (laughs) men you know what I'm saying cause uh, no, you got uh, uh, <laughs> no, for real, we really gotta value our bodies, okay? and cause they'll like that about you. You know, yeah. like some of them uh, see it as a challenge. You mm-hmm. know, and then we tell them, you know, you haven't really been doing nothing. It's like they want it more. Yeah, cause now they know you're not like just giving it to anybody. Or mm-hmm. and, it's real weird. and I don't know if you experienced this, but like ever since even just being separated and people knowing it, have you had a lot of guys thirst after you? Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Used to all that energy. And even being like some guy that I wouldn't expect. Yeah. I'm like, people you work with or people who was supposed to be like that you thought was friends, you know, or that done been around yeah, y'all as a couple. Yeah. It's been a lot of that for me too. I'm like, I be telling Kyle, like, you're not gonna believe that. Uh-huh. Oh, that's crazy. No, I definitely had that. Like, they would just come from everywhere. I'm like, wait, but don't you have girl? And then, wait, but once yeah, you. The weird uh, energy of like just. People just really want to fuck you bad. Like, girls and boys, a lot of people, like, it's girl. We were just at airport yesterday, was coming, and my manager was behind me. Mm-hmm. And so, girl was like, You need a lift or something? I said, No, I got it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You need a girlfriend? I said, Yo, no, I'm good. <laughs> and my manager was like, Not that you need a girlfriend. I said, Wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> at least I know I can pull both, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one says, how many kids does she really have? <laughs> Five. 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 Six. So. Right, right, right. I got two, son and daughter, okay. Messiah and okay. Kaylee Nicole. Oh, Kaylee Nicole, I like that. Yeah, her middle name is Sabaya. It was so cute. I wanted that to be her first name, but then I was like, uh, let me just so she corny. Yeah. Well, that's cute. I like that name, though. I yeah. like that name. You picked the right name. Yes, I'm not sure you have pictures, because you didn't even see her. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this one says, why is she trying to pretend like she's in the relationship, but tells people she's single? I don't know what I mean by that, because I don't think you're pretending to be in a relationship. Yeah, yeah huh? Or like, are you pretending to keep a secret, or? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that means. Are they, t- are they, are they, are they, do, are they insinuating that I'm still with my ex, and that I'm just saying that I'm single? Maybe. Oh. Maybe with somebody. What is okay. that about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I guess because how can you pretend that? But then yeah. you loudly say it. Cause I sure ain't pretend that. Not the way they be getting on my ass. <laughs> okay, so before you so now you can answer this one. Do she still want Kai back? Mm-hmm. Where have they learned from their separation? Mm-hmm. Since y'all separated. Um, definitely do. I mean, we didn't leave each other alone because we didn't want each other. We, we, you know what I'm saying? But you, when God tell you to do something, you got to move. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't even off my own strength. It was just something that I was really being called to do um, mm. in the season of separation and singleness and like a spiritual journey that's just bigger than what people who aren't at that level they really won't understand mm-hmm. but like sometimes you can love a person too much and y'all get lost in each other it's kind of what our situation was so it's like instead of risking <laughs> our relationship going from great to gritty and toxic and then we bickering and it's affecting our children that's having to come up and they can see these emotions they can see the fights and stuff like that we didn't want to have that kind of relationship so sometimes you have to let go and let
let God. And that was one of those situations. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, as soon as things change, <laughs> so, yeah, and it wasn't easy. It, it took a lot for me to yeah. just walk away from that because, like, shit, we've been in love since we was 13, and like, that's it was a lot. Uh-huh. So, that's you know, your sweetheart. That's your like, high school sweetheart. Yeah, but too, we, I mean, we can see the difference. Like, just learning how to do things on our own. I learned how to drive on my own. I got a car. Learn how to just you became more independent with yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and then he did too, so it's like he needed that so he could just become a man on his own like you we as women we can't really make them the man right. we want them to be we can't we all we can do is just put it in god's hands mm-hmm. and i don't always feel good like what you mean i'm just going like, <laughs> like, like come on now but you know what i'm saying sometimes no, that's not the best thing for yeah. us so you know just doing what we had to do and then like after the separation we got closer we got healthier so oh. um it just made the love better and we we respect each other enough to not mess that up. I like that. So um we both feel the same, but we just know right now it's not the appropriate the right time. time. Yeah, mm-hmm. to be trying to get back into that. Yeah, I'm not then it could go there. Cause if I see it. <laughs> Told you. Hundred hundred million in the bank account. And it'd be all good. Hundred million. It'd be all good. You ain't gonna have no problems. Trust me. <laughs> Cause that's definitely God right there. Hundred million in the bank account. You all good. You ain't got to worry about seeing nobody else. You take trips every single day. And you know what I mean? It ain't nothing that you can't do at that point. You feel me? They getting, kids get, man, I had them getting taught why you traveling and all that other stuff. Man, you know what I mean? Just have it working. <laughs> okay, why she left that man I'm not with trying the to be kids, fine, and she seems to be living her best life like she don't have no kids. Damn, <laughs> y'all really be going in on these questions. <laughs> how, do you, how do you live like you have no kids? Like, that's crazy. Well, some people do. Actually. But I feel like people be expecting you just because you have kids to just like be inside all mm-hmm. the time. Like, you're not allowed. Right. I mean, that's not the reality of things, though. I mean, a lot of them, you know, daddy left right after the nut. But <laughs> me, on the other hand, I got a good baby daddy. So, I mean, he can't take care of his kids. Yeah. He asked me for them. Like, literally, the day we got into it, the day we fought, the last fight, the breakup, all of that, he asked me before he left the house and was getting his stuff. He said, can I take the baby? I said, yes. And he asked, you know, can I keep my son? I said, yes. Fuck y'all want me to tell him no. <laughs> but it's not like he have them and I don't have them. We yeah. just share. We just share. Like, he all the way in Alabama. I'm in Georgia. What sense would it make for me to have two little children by myself and all our life is back home? Our support system, my mom, his mom, his dad, my dad, our family, all of that is back home. And I'm here like two and a half hours away. Yeah. I can't just struggle here by myself with them. And you know what I'm saying? What can I do? Just call and cry if I'm having a hard time. But yeah. luckily, when I do keep them by myself, I don't, my kids do not trip on me. <laughs> they got their routine. They got their bedtime. They oh, listen yeah. to me. We have fun. We do our shit. I just don't show people all that. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you really enjoy that like, mm-hmm. in real life without yeah. the cameras being involved. If anything, sometimes they be acting up down there. But when they get home to mama, they know. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like it normally would be like that because that's how my kids are. The only, like, yeah, the only time, now, I will say it's hard when they sick because, you know, we don't always have an answer. Shoes. I hate when they sick. Sometimes you never know what's going on. As parents, and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, we can't like always kids, read them, but it's, it's, that's the only time it get hard. You know, like, oh, God. Yeah. But, That'd be the worst. Yeah. yeah. I keep them by myself, but we be good. <laughs> okay, so. I'm like, hey, little when they get sick, I'm like, I'm like, you coughing? Like, what you cold? You hot? What's going on? I be, man, I be quick trying to stop whatever's going on. Like, let's go ahead and get that fixed because I hate niggas. Let say, how do you feel when you see people calling you a deadbeat mom mm-hmm. because the kids are with the father? I really laugh because why would if I don't really know why people would make that conclusion. Y'all know as much as people come to the internet about me, if I was a deadbeat, and if I wasn't doing my part, don't you think Kyle would have said something? Don't you yeah. think my mom would have like, come on, make somebody it. would try to make it out there. Yes, yeah. nobody would let me get away with that. Yeah. Me? Come on, now and then, as amazing as my kid, like, be serious. I yeah. couldn't even, that's very, that's something. Come on. And I don't even think people actually understand the definition of a deadbeat mom. Yeah. Like, this is somebody, they like, think I'm not there because I'm a person. Yeah, 
But yeah. then when I, you know, mm, I've that been stopped posting for like two years now. I stopped posting beside site when he was a year old. Yeah. And when I got pregnant with my uh, daughter, I didn't post her. And just was, it was like an in and out thing. People didn't really go this hard until I announced my separation. And now it's like, oh, the things <laughs> that I just made it big, got all the success and dropped everybody off. Like, yeah. So what if you just was like, all right, we're back together. And now they're like, oh, they're back together. But really you're not. They just go with the, whatever the storyline is. So you just got to change the narrative, regardless if it's real or fake. <laughs> like, <sighs> they bots, man. Oh my gosh. I mean, okay. <laughs> that's ridiculous to me. I get it though, like, but it's like, what? Why are you bugging that girl about? Why are you be bugging that girl about her kids and stuff? To me, that is ridiculous. I, I ain't gonna count. Y'all gotta stop that. God don't like ugly. See y'all in the next one. We out. Peace. You did. <laughs>